hey folks, welcome once again. I, I just I just switched back to OBS. I, I don't know what the heck is going on. I'm I'm sitting here looking at the stream in front of me in Twitch and it says that there's a network issue, right? But uh, hey, Israel's cool. How you doing? Welcome. Uh so yeah, we're starting back up again. Um I don't I don't know how long it was jacked up for you guys. Eh, it's been a little bit. Uh last I heard you were just getting back from vacation though, man. I hope you're uh I hope being at home agrees with you. But welcome. Um Yeah, so anyway, for for anybody who was in, I, Israel is cool. I don't know if you uh uh, you were hanging out and saw that the stream crashed or not, but uh, it did, and we just got back to it. Uh, here we are in the uh, in the edges of an abandoned gold mine, and uh, getting some ore. I guess that was our first gold ore, but we are now iron picking, and that <laughs> feels pretty good. I gotta gotta admit. Um. Also, it would appear we need to be ready to go sleep. Maybe we'll come down and unload our pockets again. Check out all the stuff we got in our boat. It's pretty, pretty awesome, chat. Uh, so again, huge, huge apologies to everybody. I actually completely switched platforms, so I'm going to have two different, two completely different files when we get all done. Um, and we'll just do a, an A and B episode. Uh, look at that. A look at all those. Um, now, we do have, we've, I think, gotten some loot diamonds, maybe? Uh, one or two. But not many. So, having that enchanted uh, golden apple is fantastic. Just getting iron bars is pretty good. Uh, all the various rail stuff and all that. Uh, but, yeah, we're pretty early on. We just found our home earlier today. But, guys, I was kind of teasing with the idea of a long stream and you know barring further disasters or anything that makes me think there was actually a um a network problem of any kind which i don't think there was i, th I think that's streamlabs desktop and i don't know uh like kind of after making the the recommended switch uh i've had nothing but stability issues using it so uh, hopefully OBS can do do a little better for us. Because I don't I don't like these. Uh, oh boy, I really don't like these overhead kind of traps. Now some of the stuff we were working we were already working up on that level, so it may be not spawning quite as many monsters as it might normally. Uh, but yeah, look at how, look at how our iron sword just gets trashed clearing all this stuff, right? The good news is with those iron bars that we've already gathered, uh, we can go back into town and fashion a new iron sword. Maybe the quickest way to get through all that. It would be cool to get some more iron. Uh, not that I can, not that I have any right to be complaining about any of this stuff. Um, let's make sure this is nice and lit around this uh, little spawner. Dude, so scary. Where? Where are you at? Oh, you're way down there. See, I don't have bow yet. Makes it tough. Okay, that helps. Just at least get... Uh, we'd bend down that way, so that was kind of why I backed off. Well, now at least nothing new can come down on our head. You're stuck like the creeper was. Ow! Okay, better there, and then we got all that, 
let's clear some of this. Uh, <laughs> well, hell, there, there, I think there's probably been a couple. Um, the big one, Necrophagia Taco, that went down about a week ago. Um, we, so I, I wanted to do a raid because I had popped a totem at one point and was like, oh, we need to get a, a supply of those. Right. And I kind of did a, a stream where I was like, yeah, let's, uh, let's set up for a raid. And I found a nice, uh, nice deserty village, um, brought along some iron, was going to make up some golems. I did. Um, and I kind of, you know, like prepared the area a little bit for combat well the stream was getting getting long and i was gonna wrap up i was like you know what we we did it let's this is gonna be good enough let's go start a raid what i didn't realize at the time was that there was a massive cave system that all of the raiders got funneled into so instead of like being up in the village they were all down below so I tried to tried to move iron golems down there and all that right as evokers were coming and it got bad. Real bad. Uh so we died. It was sad. And then I had another world that was just a couple days and we went out on a boat adventure and uh I ran into a trident wielding drowned and we died. So we're trying to trying to be safe and smart, not die. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are also, the, what I did in the last world uh, that I hadn't done much in that, that older world that had all the diamonds and we were flying around and everything, um, I never really built, you know, I, I built some farms and things like that, but I didn't do any, like, decorated building. Our base was just holes in the ground and all that. So um, the last one, we at least made a cool, nice bedroom kind of area with furniture and all that, and... I'm going to try to do the same here, uh, but this is only, uh, we're, honestly, I don't know how long we went, about two hours early, already today and about an hour and a half yesterday, so we're just, just really getting going, but all that chest loot is going to help us quite a bit, I think, except for that apple, we want to save it, there's two things, uh, one, you got to eat an apple at some point because it is one of the food items that is counted in the uh oh, look at that uh now i'm pretty sure we've already checked all these chest carts yeah. um oh dude 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 i can't get out ah shovel something god i'm gonna die i can't oh my god How much games do I have? I don't, you gotta help me, dude. I don't know what that means. Damn it, chat. That's a new one. I've never suffocated in a wall. And honest to God, I don't know if it pushed me. Like, the gravel was falling, and we were up against a fence post. And I think those two things were problematic. Um, crap. Like, how many video games do I have? I don't know. A dozen? Like, what, plat a PC? What, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Uh, uh, less than you'd expect, I think. On Steam, I probably have less than 20 uh, going back quite a ways. I've got another probably half dozen that I ever play on my PlayStation, but uh, a few more than that that either, you know, I, I have access to, I could re-download or whatever. But yeah, um, I, I don't know. I, I tend to play a lot in the games that I do have, not... Uh, Yeah, uh, most people do, right? I, I'm very, very rare because I, you know, 
I, I don't try to buy a new game every every couple weeks or whatever. I I buy a couple and try to play the play them a whole bunch. Um, that's kind of my take, guys. That hurts so freaking bad. Uh, I'm getting I'm getting kind of sick of this. Uh, I don't need you anymore, it's Mister. I just have a spawn written on a notepad. I do need death scores. Man, this list is getting pretty dang big. I'll never have to put the uh, the uh, old list on here. Emergent heartache. It was a profish, uh, prophetic uh, title. Uh, day. What is, <laughs> we want to make a guess? Uh, anybody that's been lurking, I'm gonna say twenty four. How about that? I, we won't know until I go back in in spectator mode. Score, 435. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quote it directly. Habage. Oh, I got two, th two, three Gs in there. Habage suffocated in a wall. Bunch of BS is what that is. All right, save that up. Uh, so for the record, um, our artificially low score in Necrophagia Taco was 88,342, but we'd just gone from level like 74 to 30-something enchanting books. Uh, but we had 673 days, and uh, I my note was, we were killed by a mounted evoker's vex because... I had moved the golden apples off the toolbar when I was running around hitting all the golems with iron bars to repair them. Yeah, uh, it was it was bad. Octo Tarsus, that was the last world. We got up to 64 days in that. Score was 2007, and we were killed by a trident down. Trident round. I put an extra T in there. In open ocean. All right, there we go. Uh, we still need the day, so I can't see you guys. Scash. Oh, no. <laughs> you you do lurk when you say you lurk. I, I've never suffocated in a wall before. That is a new one. Uh, the gravel fell. I was trying to get out of the gravel, but I don't know if the gravel pushed me into the wall. Uh, nothing I could, I could do or swing or smash was getting me out. So um, that's a new one. Uh I don't know. Um, I think it was it was partly my fault. I knew there was gravel, right? We'd just broken a wall and watched gravel fall. Um, but I, I hadn't really been super observant about the fact that there was gravel in the area. Um, but I've had gravel fall on my head before and been able to uh, either move or break my way out of it. And for whatever reason, that was not happening in that little piece of the mine. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, spectate world. We got to check the check the days. I, I said twenty four. It was day nineteen. We didn't even get that far. Uh, day. Sorry, I'm just updating. For folks who don't know, I've just got a little notepad here where we keep track of the various deaths. And give it a save here. You guys want to want to take a peek? Uh -huh. There you go. Oh, uh, that's... Why is that so big? What the heck? <laughs> like, what? Are you guys seeing this? It's like it it knew about the window. There you go. All right, now you guys can at least see it quick. So, yeah, we've had three worlds on this PC. They're all all toast. Uh, enjoy, enjoy, and then let's get that back out of there. And let me go back to 
Minecraft so I don't have a weird line. All right, that's out. Dang it. All right, well, all right Israel's cool. Have some good sleep, man. Take care. It's great to see you. Uh, save and quit to title. We're going to trash it right here. Did I name that? Or what did I? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Um, emergent hardcore or heartache. You are dead. Delete. See you gone. New world. Oh man, I didn't think I was gonna have to be coming up with a uh, a world name today. Um. Um, I think coffee's going to be in it. Coffee, uh... Coffee... I was going to say cantina, but that doesn't seem right. Cafe, eh... Um, coffee, uh, I, I don't know, I'm thinking like an outdoor coffee break, uh, something. You know that, uh, maybe you guys don't, that like morning cup of coffee when you go out on the deck, sun's coming up, it's still a little chilly, um, on a sunshiny morning, you got uh, seasonally appropriate, right, you know, some, in the winter time, uh, maybe it's like a hoodie or something like that, you know, so you're not, you're not too chilly, but it's still cool, right, you're not like, it's not like you're dressed to go out and play in the snow, but... You got on some slippers or something like that, uh, and you just kind of have that. Ah, uh, this is perfection. What? What? What are those kind of moments? Coffee. Uh, Call it a uh, out outdoor. God, I hate this keyboard. Morning coffee. There. What do we got? We got a lot of stream time to be able to uh, fill this in. I think. Well, we got some mountains nearby. We're probably going to have some sheep for a bed. Uh, spawn. 
11 5 maybe 10 5 i think 10 5 is a little more likely let's get a fresh fresh little piece off the notepad spawn 10 5 and this is outdoor morning coffee is that what we called it Boom. All right, it's all going to be good now. We got all the, <laughs> all the crap out of the way. Um, and we can pretty much, after the uh, unplanned little blip in the middle of the stream, we can uh, call this a brand new episode. Man, oh man. Suffocated in a wall. How did we end up in a wall? I'm pretty sure there there would be like a different one if if a bunch of sand or something just fell on our head. I think that would be like suffocated, as in our case, suffocated by gravel, right? Not in a wall. Oh, look at this. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go up over our spawn here a little bit. Just to, oh, kind of in a nice bowl here under the mountains. Uh, might be hard pressed to find any open water so far. We seem very continental today. Uh, but we shall see. Ooh, look at all this. It has begun. That is quite a wall of watermelons. We will get to those. But since we know they're here, uh, let's see what other bounty they have to offer us. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Oh, you're a leather worker? And look at that. We get some clothes. Again, rare sighting of our skin. Dirt and shoes and some bread. And another leather worker? I like your blue pants. We don't need multiple pairs of leather shoes. Not greedy after all, but I think... I think while well, still a bit wondering why a guy's walking around with no pants on in public, uh, they're happier that I'm partially clad. Ooh, okay. So maybe out that way, that... Looks a little lighter blue, like that could be opening up into a sea. And we certainly have a spread of uh, explorable, navigable water. Pretty good. Uh, this is the cartographer, I think. Which is going to be tough for anything that we need. <laughs> Take two sticks. Uh, when you got nothing, that's that's not anything's good. Um, what I don't think we've seen yet has any of this one has a bed. Ooh, all right. Uh, come on, at least we won't go hungry. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I, I don't know what you do with your one community bed, but uh, I need it. <coughs> Honestly, I don't know where these guys. Uh, where these guys shelter at night but is what it is. All right, we got a bed, so I don't have to worry as much about sheep. Um, I don't think, even though there's mountains and stuff, I don't think we want to live right here. So let's go see if we can get down and... Um, get transportable, right? Zoop. And zoop. And 
as long as I'm in the zzz business. Do that. That's a bed. <laughs> Why can't I place it? Um, yeah. There are some sheeps. We gotta, well, let's keep looking here if there's a water pathway. Without a bucket, we can't, can't force a connection. Oh, maybe this is it, though. <coughs> I thought it looked pretty wide open. Oh, we got pumpkins already. Oh, I just know we're not... <laughs> I was getting so excited. Sand and red sand and concrete. There's a village. Um, all so close and all of it's gone. What do we have back here, though? I'm digging the, the sweeping landscape here. Is this all blocked? We got some dark oak along with a little bit of jungle. All right, now this. That we can get through, right? It's just wherever the water would not resource uh, if we don't have a bucket where the boat will sink and, and we can't sail through it. But this is pretty good. Uh, looks like an iron works up there. Very nice. Um, I don't see any, any real signs that there's any bits of this village down at the bottom here. It may be tough to get... I guess we can maybe go up and around that way. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Uh... I don't have any torches or anything yet. Uh, <laughs> is there a door? You guys sure make me work for this iron, don't you? Well, we got our pants. Feeling pretty, pretty happy with all that. Still on day one. Um, now. Where can we get to next? Taters, love it. Extra bread and apples. <laughs> We're not going to go to bed hungry tonight, are we? Hey, Mr. Cow. Uh, uh, uh. The cow says, uh, we don't have a hoe yet. You 
you guys with all the beds you should have seen that first town. I'm really worried about them. If if those chunks stay loaded through night and I'm not there and none of them have any beds, they're all gone. It's too bad. Not much I can do about it. I'm not going to steal these guys' beds and just take them back over. That would be silly. I mean, I might, I might take their beds for myself, but... Uh... <laughs> Oh my god, are you flipping kidding me? <sighs> Sand and gravel, not my friends today, my my friends. You guys are my friends. Uh, I don't have I don't have any blocks. Um maybe I'm just maybe I can get up there without having to pillar. If I go here, here, I gotta be a little careful. That was all I really wanted. Hey, look it up here. Beautiful. Nice. Uh, taking a flower. We need a little beauty in the world. After the last one. I don't think there's much anything in the rest of these. Just a fairly safe place for a bunch of uh, villagers to hang out. Uh, the last, of course, really good thing we could pull out of here would be a carrot or a beet. Uh, also, all these hay bales, but I don't have a hoe. Um, I don't know. Should we make a hoe? <laughs> Look at us. We got some luck. It's going to be a disaster. It could be a disaster. But I really didn't want a bunch of villagers uh, in here. All right. A pick. An axe, a shovel, and oddly, a hoe. We'll <laughs> put that in our weapon spot. Well, I could certainly use uh, use some coal, right? Got no torches yet. Dang it, man. They always, always go so good um, when perilous stuff is going to come. But that was, I, I'm sure it was in part just sloppy on mine. I should have been more cognizant of uh, the gravel up above. And I don't know. I, I don't know if we'll end up right around here or not. But I just want to grab all these so it's not an issue. So we end up making a 10,000 block trip back just to get. You got any, uh, any carrots? Beets? So that, that seemed very easy. <laughs> After I was all frustrated trying to get up. My emotions, chat. I've been, I've been through a lot in a short period of time. Two world, three worlds down like in a week. That can be the problem, though, right? Starting a world is the hardest part. It's also the best part. It's um, it's fun, but that felt like a death that uh, could have stolen a infinite type world. You know, like I, there's not much you can do to stop suffocating, uh, other than rolling a shovel or whatever and breaking the blocks around you. But that's I I don't think I had a shovel in hand, and. I certainly couldn't uh, couldn't break with whatever I was doing. Uh, probably should have escaped and stopped to consider, like, all right, what what can I do? How can we plan this out?
Uh, two pieces of iron, that's a sword. You are the same guy, right? I went all the way around to get here, I think. Pretty sure. And we left a hat, yeah. Cook those. And let's plop that. Don't want these to go too long, but I'll, I'll make this into glass because we've already got a piece of hole in there, right? I guess what I should do is burn the burn the logs and make charcoal, right? Then we can make more torches. And hopefully we'll get three more pieces out of what's left there. Actually, hopefully we'll get four more pieces. I think we'll probably get plenty. Um, but enough so that we can repeat that process if we have to. There we go. 32 torches, no glass. That's all right. We didn't really need the glass. I was just like, oh, we could cook that. Oh, yeah, I guess we could have cooked a couple of potatoes, too, and had some better food. Uh, now, one thing I should do. That's done, anyway. All right, so we got two pieces of charcoal. Um, good. Those are beets. I didn't get the beat. I was a, uh, we rushed it a little bit, but I got a seed, and the seed is really all we need to worry about. That would rush us back over. Well, I don't know that there's much stuff we need back there. Uh, now we kind of, come on, you baby cow, kind of want a carrot. You guys got any carrots? We you growing any carrots? Just, ooh, ooh, that could be a carrot. Don't crush that, all right, dude? Uh, wasn't there another field around? It's not. Mm. Oh, there is right here. Any carrots? Oh, you got more beets. Two beet seeds. Got a spare. In case it goes wrong. Um, I think we would get the one carrot if we broke that one. Look at you in your pimp robe. Your cape. It's right over here, right? Oh, come on. Uh, there's some coal down there. Also, zombie sound. Also, spider. String would be good. Come here, Spidey. I would like Spidey without bringing a whole bunch of other friends with him. Come on. I see a spin in there. Test out this new iron sword. Look at that. I don't get any string, though? Dang it. Oh, uh, hold on. Set those up a bit. Gravel. It's our latest thing to have to look out for. Man, we got a lot of stuff to look out for in this game.
Dun, 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 Uh, so without getting suffocated in a wall, I'm trying not to. And do we think it's all up above this stone too? I kind of did. Feels like this music feels like it's very much building towards something epic. Dun, dun, dun. I hear you, zombie. If you're coming up, like, I think there's got to be something around here because we heard him all along. Uh, still no iron, though. I, I think we, oh, no. No, we're not done yet. We need this coal. Need it bad. We will. Awesome. All right. That big ravine heading out to the ocean. Got to be very wet. All right. Oh, well, that was good. Uh, good. Oh, I forgot the carrot. I'm going to go check on the carrot. Baby cow again. Oh, wait, where where was your field farmer? <laughs> no reason to worry about why I'm asking. Just uh, point the way. Oh, see, the pig was eyeing this. Um, I don't have anything to replace you with yet. Just need a seed. I, I just don't like to leave them down, you know, like here. Oh, did you already get it? My bad. I, I was I was coming back to replant. Oh no, you didn't plant. There, there. See, see, it's team farmer, and and that time we actually got a seed. I mean a beat. You knew what I, you knew what I meant. Here, uh, I got this one too. I keep telling you guys, you don't have to worry. Farmer Habbage, he's got you covered. And Farmer Habbage now has beets, potatoes, and beet uh, uh, beets, potatoes, and carrots. Uh, and we can always get seeds from grass. Um, so, uh, does it make sense for us to, nah, we'll come, we'll boat back if we have to, depending on where we want to end up settling. Uh, we can, oh, I almost jumped. Uh, then we had to come all the way back up here. Yeah. Keep it, ah, uh, two. Two's good. Anymore? Just iron laying around in the hills? Uh, potentially awesome cave land stuff?
getting scarier. All right, not so scary anymore. But on sadly, I don't see any iron. Uh, more coal. So glad we cooked those two pieces of extra charcoal. Hey, you never know. And if that if that was what unlocked all this access to coal for us, more power to it. Um, I think we're going to try to stay a little bit... Well, I, when we see it, we're going to know it. And we're going to go like, this is the house we've always been looking for. Uh, but until then, and kind of as a precursor to that, I think we'll... Uh, not worry about it too much. I should really. I did br at least break the crafting table. It's kind of one of those definition of doing the stupid stuff before you get too invested in the world. Um, we don't have a shield. <laughs> I have a marginal amount of wood pick or stone pick left and the wood won't get us any of the resources underground. So All of this could be a huge waste of time. That all looks good. Give me some iron. Any, any little amount. <sighs> Come on, game. You were doing so good to us in that last world, right up until you yanked it out of my hands. Um, I mean, I guess we'll use it while we can. Who knows? Maybe we find some iron. But right now we don't even have enough for a pick. But we could make a shield. I don't need that copper... And I guess the important bit here is that we survived. It's not at bedtime yet. I also didn't realize that I'd committed myself jumping in there. Uh, it's beautiful. I love the, the coast. Coastal kind of highlands. I like the area. I remember where we parked. Because I sure do. We were close. Well. I like it. I like that it's it's open and accessible. Um, I just I kind of want to get an awesome spot, right? Something that's uh, <coughs> a little more inspirational than just hey, it's got some flat area and a hillside I can dig into. Uh, it's like some snowy spruce trees. It's like some birches. Some more sprucey over here. Oh, this world does look great, but um, it seems to be of that like 
all the land is at least 10 blocks up from the water, right? Or six blocks up or whatever. You know, we get some of these that are like all stony shores and all that. Nothing, nothing right down to the water's edge. Um, could get some berries in the spruce forest. I think with all the bread that we got and all the hay bales, we'll be kind of okay. I don't think that's a mountain. I think that's a snowy slope, unless it's just really distant and we're seeing it from range. I would love to be close to a mountain, but in something something with trees and land and all that kind of stuff. I just, I don't know. It, it, I think if it was a mountain, it, it would pop up a whole lot more. Oh, there's some iron. Um, we could lose ourselves walking around on the tops of all this stuff. There is some more back over there too, though. Um, and I don't, I don't particularly want to do that. But when it's just laying around. Oh, where'd that other piece go? I saw it. There it is. Just one piece. More sleep. See, I feel bad about that village, but... We're making good use of their one bed. They would all have been fighting about it. Now at least they're all they're all equal. Some pigos. Uh, again, coal we can we can come back for. Uh, got a got a pretty good little start here, right? Uh, but this iron is kind of indispensable that's so good where we can grab extra bits of it here early uh, big old hole but I don't see any iron and we're just going after what we can find if if we settle out this way somewhere and we're making trips back to spawn in those villages or anything like that. We'll be back and forth past here all the time anyway. So, oh, oh, look at that. We still need an iron shirt and shoes. Is that right? Yep. So 12, I almost, I almost got sucked back into the coal. There's some. Uh, here, let's... We'll grab the boat. Pop ahead. That was where we just came down. <clears throat> hey, Cod. Trick is finding another spot where we can get back up again. Looks good. Almost like we had crafted it. All right, just got to backtrack a bit here. Make sure we didn't miss anything obvious. Probably have, but that's just coal. More coal. Lots of coal. And if we were to go get all of that, I'm sure we'd discover some more 
it's bees or a bee nest. I didn't see the actual bees, so it could have just spawned in a vacant nest. Look at those edges when we're out on a point just to see if anything jumps out at us. Do, 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 do. It seems like there should be something else waiting for us here towards the end, right? I mean, we've come all this way. Nothing in the hole. <laughs> we might just have to chop down a new tree for a second boat. Uh, without a chest in it, it's kind of easy to just let them go, right? Oh, what do we have here? It's interesting. Question is, does all of this stuff, like, connect through? Gravel and sand here. I was just thinking, like, this point would be fantastic, uh, but it's all gravel and sand. Those are resources, not uh, not prime building, but I, I don't know how quickly all that switches out to rock, but if this is just a huge pile of sand, that's uh, that's fantastic. Already appealing in its own right. Um... There's a village. Is that my tummy? <laughs> I, I guess I hope so, because if it was anything else inside me making noises, like a, a half-hearted stomach rumbling. Uh, and this this whole thing looks too weird. There, the village is somewhere up there. I saw a building. So we know we'd have more resources out this way. This is a nice little connection. I, there's a reason why lots of cities and things build up along riverways like this, right? Because uh, they're good for commerce and all that. I mean, we could build a, a kind of walled city out in the midst of all this. Um... That's kind of kind of epic. Is this? Did we swim to get over to this side from the the sand and the gravel and all that, or is that all connected? I can't remember. It's a little flooded. Yeah, so that's detached. I don't know though. It like going underground. We're gonna deal with so much flooding because all these river biomes and everything. I'd like it. I'd kind of prefer, though, to be like on a on a bank that's we can kind of work away from the water and back into uh, into more stable underground stuff, right? Uh, that looks kind of cool. Mm -hmm. now, all that's flooded out, but if we knew going in, got a, a little separate waterway kind of thing. But what's so that that was just that. I was like, what is that thing? So weird. Ah, uh, I kind of love it. I 
definitely love the area. Kind of the bigger, bigger hills on either side. Obviously, a major waterway in between. We've got woods for trees and stuff. There's plenty of variety. We've got some more spruce forest back out that way. Um, going all the way back, I know we've seen jungle and dark oak um, around. So this area is is kind of ideal. Whatever is under this might be a huge pain in the, you know what? And when it ultimately does come to it, where and how and what are we going to do about the farms, right? Those are the things. Um, but I love it. <laughs> All the same, it's awesome. So what if we... I think all that could be trouble because I think it's it's going to be so cavey as we get going. Do I have any? I don't have any saplings yet. <sighs> um, I don't know. I don't know where to make our little initial homestead, right? So all of this could could build up to be amazing and incredible, but we'd certainly need to do some work. Let's get that um, while we're here. Let's get that. I don't know that I'm going to cook the iron yet. <laughs> we could desperately use it. Um, I still don't know. I still don't know. Weird little sand island. There are bees. Mm -hmm. uh, I was gonna say, I kind of like this. is so nice and uh, nice and level. Got a big cave system. We got bees in the trees. More rivers out here. Could be like our personal salmon stash. Uh... Maybe, maybe something back here. And as like decorative building projects at some far future date, we make like little 
fortifications out along the waterway? Cow Island. Remember Pumpkin Island? We never get to commemorate it. See, this is this is kind of why I think this whole area is it, right? We're kind of at this junction between two big old oceans. And whether they're all connected or not, who knows? Maybe. But just feels like <laughs> like this is the strategic spot on the game board, right? We had to grab it and take control. Um, but I don't want to, I, I feel like we owe it to ourselves to look, right? Two around a little bit before we just start digging into a hillside. We got the bed, so we didn't have to, didn't have to do quite as much of that frantic survival stuff. Um, a broken portal over there. It's always interesting. I was wondering if it was part of a part of a village or something. All right, so maybe some awesome tools. Come on, there are gold bricks there. We can't get them. Good, very very good. Uh, these can be good if we can get chickens. Start our arrows. Obsidian, two pieces doesn't do a ton for us, but very nice. A mending hoe. Okay. And a mending gold pick. Uh, either one of those, if we find more, could become very valuable. Certainly take them. All right. This only reinforces the fact that I think we're I think we're in the right vicinity. We just got to find our our forever lot, <laughs> right? Our dream property. And I do think even coming, putting up like a portal back to that area where the broken portal was and setting up our farm there, I don't think that needs to be right where our home is. We might make a little a little garden, right, just to get us going. Um, but for trading fields and all that, like, you know, we could use, use this flat land and kind of modify that out in fact let's uh let's go ahead and grab coordinates here uh i think i made a notepad right it was 10 5 outdoor morning coffee i didn't even remember what so possible farm site uh, you ready to see how far we've gone from where we started uh, not as bad. 737 and negative 2896. 730, I forgot which one was negative. Negative 2896. Oh, I missed the 8 somehow. All right. Uh, so we got that one. We can find our way back to it. Um, and since that exists, then I'm a little, sorry, I was scratching my ear and the mic was like on my lip. Um, since we've got that, then we can be a little more, hey, let's settle here, right? And just kind of, kind of build and deal with it. Oh, shipwreck too, we'll get to go play with, but let's, let's try to find our site first. Oh, I should, uh. I'll be able to see you guys. Had the big coordinates notepad up. 
Uh, so shipwreck, don't forget that. We can uh, can go back get some loots, but somewhere, somewhere in here, we. We emerge. And you know, I think... I think maybe we're going to go cuz like you know all this it it feels very european medieval forts and and old village and all that kind of stuff but I'm wondering maybe maybe more modern um it'd be kind of cool like um Like Sim City kind of city, right? Just grow it up to something that just kind of you know fills fills the shorelines here. Have some districts and all that kind of stuff would be cool. And there was somewhere over here we saw villagey buildings, right? So we don't want to be too tight. this stuff I'm thinking it could be right in here let's go peek and see what what we have behind all this big old hill uh, caves aren't bad as long as they're not flooded. And hopefully no villages right, you know, right over the hill. Oh, look, you got neighbors, that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think we could, uh, could build up into this space nicely there's another portal uh, we'd have access to our water and this is the waterway back and then how far over here was it to get back because remember some of this was like punched through water flooded canals and caves and all that and wouldn't be too hard for us to then be linked back to, I guess that's that's quite a bit further out. So we're, we're kind of starting back in a corner. Uh, but the, the reason I wanted to do that was to keep from possibly being too flooded, right? So if we like kind of start our, our dugout house we can do we can do stairs we can get some materials around here and um see where it takes us but we're <laughs> we're going to have to go get some trees <laughs> and get some saplings plant a little tree farm here cuz that's the one thing we really don't have around. Um, and I never, you know, so often I, I'm like a couple stacks of logs before we really start moving. Uh, let's, let's go here. Oh my gosh.
Those are good pick. <clears throat> just kind of, just kind of working it out here. Thing. I don't want to get too excited, but I think ahead of us. Yeah. Now we can't break that. If if I hit that with the wood pick, <clears throat> it's gone. Oh my gosh. It's a good sign. It's a good omen for building a house. Okay. Let's get one more of these going. Man, we used up all those torches. I need to get you cooking. Those two will go. All right. Add those to the fire. Okay. Um, the idea here is going to be uh, same as what we did, except with much less artistry, <laughs> arguable. Uh, how much of that there ever would have been. Uh, but uh, it's basically a boat in. And I think... Oh, I don't... I don't have a single chest yet. Dude, this is... <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, now... Oh my god. <laughs> like trying to make sticks. Go... Go, 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 go. Maybe go. We got quite a few here. All right. Oh, now I, I really need to make tools. So... I, I I think it just all goes to here. Uh, one and one. And then two. Oh, I hope this pans out. How we doing? 14 and one. It's, uh... I gotta make sure. This is a shirt, shirt and shoes. Oh, I'm out the piece of wood. Oh my god, I, I got distracted. I was like, oh, and we'll have three iron left that we can use for our uh, pick. Nope. Oh, I have no. <laughs> No lights. Um, I don't think I can sleep yet. Uh, while we're farting around, though, I should really grab this. Home. Nothing, nothing fancy. It's just home to us. 226. 
and negative 2225. Save that. Hide it. All right. I knew where we parked. Again. All right. Uh, what? Give me back my torch. Where's my torch? I don't, I don't have torches to just be throwing in the ocean like that. I guess I did put two up tonight. All right. On to a forest. We're tree chopping. Seems to fit the bill up there. It's kind of new explorer. I don't know what I saw that looked like village. Some of that kind of stuff. It it seemed pretty. Oh, there it is. That's not going to be too close, is it? I don't. I don't think we're close enough to trigger a raid from there. Uh, this looks like our access. Not exactly the forest I'd hoped for, but um, take those goodies when I can get them, right? I should uh, mark this a little bit, too. Yeah, that, that iron shop up there. Makes me think, hmm, it could be good. Of course, now that we've crafted our uh, our shirt and boots, i almost certain that's what will be in the chests, right? That's how that goes. Maybe close, but I don't think it's going to be the easy one to get, uh, get villagers out. Oh, my gosh. All right, already worth the trip. Oh, uh, <laughs> better not be little zombies in there picking all this stuff up before I get down there. Oh, there's more. Oh, crap. Run away. Run away. It's raining. I don't know if that'll, you guys have any iron golems around? What you? It's, uh, <laughs> I hope I don't have to... I I told you guys. A oh, saddle, though. That is nice. And seeing as how we haven't seen the desert yet. Um, I do have six. Does that mean I was able to grab everything before that? Dude. Hey! Anybody see that? Oh, there's a golem. All right. Oh. Ow! Here, we'll just do it this way. Oh, <laughs> Come on, where you at, dude? Here you go. Ow. I'm a monster slayer. People. And a dandelion to go with our flower collection. And I said I needed needed uh saplings. Alright. Uh, so far, so very, very good. Uh, they do have farmy stuff. We've still got that iron, but, oh, creeper. Remember, we got to do four of these this time. And uh, now I have no coal, and it's nighttime. Let's leave the iron. It's not going anywhere. Hey, buddy, 
you don't mind a temporary roommate, right? I want to chill. All right. Hi. Yeah, sorry. I just kind of kind of showed up last night. Uh, let's go ahead and take this tree. We will replace it. Real inspiration is found in regrowth chat, not in a slavish maintenance. There are words to live by from the Temple of Dabella, Skyrim. Uh, uh, now, hey, look at that. We already got, I already got a second. Yeah, we'll do some, uh, we'll do some tree plant right around here. All uh, those leaves decay. Let's grab up. Oh, and I, I do need to remember that iron is down there. But what I, what I'm really hoping for is to make some torches. And get back down in that. Uh, in that cave. All right, so we'll just uh, set up a little shop here. All right, first thing. is to get enough sticks so that we can do 12 more torches. And then into here, we'll store some of these things. All right. Oh, that's your, your job. Awesome. My job is going to be down here in, in this cave. And hopefully, we'll find some coal. There's got to be coal around, right? There's some right there, but oh, beautiful! Uh, I see gravel. We're extra cautious now, creeper. Come on, buddy. Oh, and a zombie. Now it's still dayish, right? Some of the lighting in there seemed a little... Oh. Here come all the friends. Zombie friends. They do things together, like harass my villager friends. And we're gonna try to stop that. Ooh. Yeah, this looks, this looks awesome. We may be here for a minute, but the first thing we got to do is get all this coal and turn that into more torches and be able to start fueling the furnace to cook our iron on site uh, because we can then uh, upgrade to iron pick, right? And make a shield uh, depending on, yeah, I mean, we can do both of those things. So we do need those trees to pop again. And ultimately, the whole, whole goal here is to get onto the woods, get some wood so we can can really start building out our own base area but early game hey this is this is good stuff we just just don't die right well we're willing to work for everything we get here just don't die and this seems like a couple coals growing together which is great. Okay. Um We'll spread another, spend another precious torch. And 
then I'm going to make a little walkway, and we're just going to be sure if we end up stuck down in there somehow, we can get out either direction. All right, we lit up there. I think we lit. Oh, crap. What did I? Oh, I must have hit that edge. All right, that's all good. And there's our torches spent. So now, before we go doing anything stupid. Oh, let's get this too. Because now we have coal to fuel our furnace, right? Oh, look at it. Look at it. So big. Three, five. All right. Oh, take five. Five makes 11. That goes there. A few of those in. Now, what did I do with all the extra logs and sticks? That. That's better. did just use all of those uh, when I could have kept a couple of pieces for a shield. Kind of dumb. Iron pick. Trees haven't grown yet. Any more saplings? Not yet. Or I lost them. All right. Well, that's okay, though. Let's go tour about town a little bit more. Look at that bee house right in the middle of town. I love it. You guys have a good opportunity for industry. I'm going to try to make this a little more... Oh, perfect. Arkham. A little more interchangeable or uh, trans-levelable. There. I know the only the only outright thing I'm doing it, it's it, it's uh, hay inspection. We think think there's some mold in the alfalfa, and uh, we gotta go gotta go check it all. Don't you worry though, you guys are gonna be you guys are gonna be living big time. I wish the villagers had a beekeeper. How cool would that be, right? Seems like a profession that uh, would give a lot of a lot of the the automator people um, a fun fun means to kind of build and play around. I think that would be really cool. All right, there's more there, and what we could really do here. Let's do let's do this. We'll get another log. Yeah, there you go. Uh, okay. I, I thought we kind of explored your village cave. I love that all the villages now have some form of underground features, right? That, that's just built into it, but the one upstairs would have been perfect. <laughs> In my mind, plenty of fun. Nothing there. Uh, keeping all these dudes safe is going to be tough. Uh, <laughs> like, can I just designate? Oh, I hear somebody burning. I don't, worse, I don't see them wherever they were. That's a problem in my book. Oh, but now we got now we got torches, so we can do a little.
little bit to try to help them out. And again, the, the best advantage we have going for us is that uh, the game is so early, we haven't had a chance to level up to the point where many monsters are going to be thrown at us. So <laughs> that's where the zombie d burned, I guess. A little sunny spot. All right. I like it. Uh, Spidey, come on. Your friend didn't give me any string. You did. It's getting up on evening. Maybe we'll just sleep here in this cave. Oh, you know what? I need another coffee. I've got one ready to go. Uh, let me mute for just a second here as soon as we wake up, and I will be right back.
Oh my god, how long has the audio been kicked? Hours. <sighs> what a disaster. I'm just I'm just talking to mute. You guys are I was like, man, you know, chat's really been quiet. How long ago did I take a break? Whenever I got that coffee, probably. Uh it, it, we're building a house, guys. Modern house. It's gonna be a lot of glass. Uh, <laughs> But you didn't hear me swear when that uh, I accidentally broke that block because all of a sudden I was moving in game and I wasn't doing anything uh, with my mouse. That's good. Hey, welcome back, everybody. How y'all doing? Uh, just a comedy of errors today. We had Lost of Worlds. We've had technical faults. All kinds of stuff getting crazy. Son of <sighs> Comedy airs, <laughs> Comedy airs. I thought that seemed really, really quick and easy. Um, we went to the door post. We didn't even get over to the other side all right well now i do need more stone i'm sure uh hopefully that's enough um i should top this off our coal is still holding strong that's good one more piece and that can go... Am I going to need another shovel now? Probably not. Am I going to need another sleep? Yeah, this whole... Uh, house facing east is great for our morning cup of coffee outside, right? But it isn't as good for... Look at this. I am such a derp. <laughs> this is the line. So this went up one. I wasted all that stone. I mean maybe it'll maybe it'll help us out here a little bit, but that was stupid. So here's our little cave. All right. So we do. Bop, bop, bop. Oh. <laughs> And now all that granite that I thought I got lucky and dodged having to work with, that's all going to be back in play. Uh, it is, what well, feels dark. It was closer to dark. I think as long as we... Uh, as long as we stage it right, we should be okay. There and there. So we can just sleep uh, on this excavated little stair. Come on, shovel. I hope I don't need much more out of you, but It'd be nice if you could hold strong for us. All right, feels feels night. I bet it's night by the time we get done with these six blocks. Go. Fee, what's up? Do I have an Elytra launcher yet? You know I'm not making an Elytra launcher, but of course not, dude. You you do realize I died, right? Remember remember how there was the death? Yeah, there's no Elytra to be launched. How you doing though? Welcome. I'm just giving I'm giving you a hard time. No, I don't even uh certainly don't have an Elytra launcher, but that so like sounds I, I remember you talking about having one. Um, was that the, like the reusable rockets or something? Was that what that was? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. And I've died. I've died plenty since. Fee. Uh, we've looped a little bit. Uh, um. So we've had a couple fresh starts, but I'm I'm working on a house. We got village neighbors. Uh, I don't have any significant sand yet for the glass windows and ceiling that we need, but I think this is coming. Now, what we've got to do is make sure that I don't break the... What is, what is so jacked up here? Or am I just am I just freaking out now because I've already screwed this up? Uh, no, it's not the reusable rockets. I th I'm assuming that's the no. Okay. Um, son of a. <laughs> This isn't this isn't terrible yet. Cuz that goes up to that. Right? You have absolutely got to be freaking kidding me. Oh. This is so fun when you're cooking all the stone to make this many mistakes. Oh my gosh. Uh. At least at least I cooked another batch. Hey, and we got XP. Hooray! Now it's gonna be painful. I'm gonna hurt myself twice jumping into this thing. Uh And I've got to figure out some kind of landscaping or whatever to make that that back to a deal. All right, let's not screw this up again, though. This. Like that. So, by, in theory, this should be nine wide. All right. We finally got it. Good gravy. And I don't... It didn't need to jump there, I don't think, but... Probably just work from below now. So what what pray tell fee does the Elytra launcher launch? I don't I don't understand. What why do I want one? What does it do for me? Or is it just the getting off the ground with the initial rocket fire? Maybe that's it. Alright, we can at least uh get all this stuff up. Make this a nice monochrome. And that's all going to be... Oh, maybe we lost fee. I don't know. Might be busy. Get a snack. Chin elytras left and right. All right, so glass roof kind of tapers, uh, but gives us a a nice skyward view, and then uh, has has kind of a steep angle on this front edge, wraparound kind of windows here, and I think even though that's an kind of an accident, I like that. Uh, 
I like that our windows would kind of not just be buried into the dirt. So we may we may taper that out a little bit after the fact. Oh, but the, <laughs> the la oh, we got to do this. The last thing we got to do before we can feel safe and secure at home is get some sand and make some some glass to fill all this in. Uh, you need TNT obsidian and a pressure plate before the TNT blows up jump then you will launch 20 to 30 blocks up where's the obsidian go in all that like is that just to keep the the tnt from uh wrecking everything else around it like obsidian is tnt sort of proof so uh you just don't get a big crater attention all right it's new niche all right uh hey we got got a block to go in boom 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 i haven't fixed that uh it's a little bit up top but that can wait for a while all right uh more shule And now we'll get another good old stone pick. I got iron, but I really want to save it for when we're headed into the depths. And why did I not bring the boat back into park? Oh, did we go over the hill maybe the last time? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why we didn't park the boat. Uh, so fortunately, we know of a large sand deposit. Uh, certainly there's one right there, but uh, we know of that big old sandy hill. Uh, back around the other way. So let's let's head there. I think I gotta go around this guy. Yeah, I don't think I can get through there. I think I gotta go out around this point. I mean, I guess we could could take down these dunes too. And you need water. The obsidian is for the the TNT won't destroy stuff and keep the water in. Oh, that's cool, man. I. Uh, I don't think I need to. <laughs> I think I'm I'm good enough at getting off the ground that. Uh, uh, I I don't know that TNT under my keister uh, kicking me twenty to thirty blocks up is what I need in a hardcore world that I've just restarted for the third time this week. Um, but I yeah man, uh, fee that sounds crazy, dude. I'd love to see see it. So there, there's this oddity little sand tower thing that we were looking at, but where was that big hill that we were up on talking about building on? Remember? Chat, where was that? And I was like, dude, look at all this. We can't build here because it's all sand and gravel, but... Oh, is it... I don't know. I lost the big sand hill. Now I'm wondering if it was even in the same world. Although we we definitely did not care about sand hills in uh, the last world that was all deserts and mesas and beautiful and awesome. This is beautiful and awesome too. I, I love our little situation here, but I don't know what happened to that big sand and gravel kind of embankment that we we talked about the, the whole island cities and forts and all that. Did I just not go back as far? It's really weird. But there's this sand. I think we'll use this. And there's also something tucked right around the corner of this sand. That I think we need to investigate. It does sound crazy, though, Fee. Totally. All right. In fact, let's uh, start right here, right?
dig out this wreck. Uh, I guess it would help to kind of orient. Is this the front? Was this the front or the back? Uh, that looks like the back. So by that logic, the chest should have been right here. Uh-oh. There it is. Uh, okay. I'm not. It's there. Oh, I guess. I guess that would. If that was the ceiling, I don't know. Um. Isn't it always on this side when we like? If we were walking on the back of the ship and it was, or you know, swimming down to it. Like, these railings would be at the stern, and we always, like, chop in right there. So I don't know why this reversed, but maybe it settled in, in sinking. There we go. Uh, diamonds? <laughs> Remember how many diamonds? We had a god apple. We had so much good stuff. Uh, even in that just first first little bit of our our last world, we were killing it. And then... Then we got killed. You want to know how I died, Fee? Uh, the the end credit, I don't think I've ever had this one before, or the death message. It said, Habage died from suffocation in a wall. It was crazy. Like, somehow gravel fell on my head, but instead of just being gravel, it, like, pushed me into a... Uh, into a wall uh, in an abandoned, in like a Badlands gold mine. Um, and I don't know, I don't know how that little bit happened. Uh, but it was not great. Okay, well maybe, maybe that wasn't about the right spot. I still think it should have been, like maybe it just can't, it can't sit up. Uh, but it should have been up high on that wall and instead they, uh, they just dropped it down. They. <laughs> uh, so, can I get... Yeah, we need, all, we need all this sand, so it's not quite as goofy as it, it might appear that I'm digging down. Um, so again, the, the door was right there. There's the chest. Let's see if we can chop it. Look at all that glorious sand, by the way. All right, let's just go through here. Boom. Take you. All right. Now, now we sand it up. You guys ever get a chance to like do any like woodworking when you were a kid, like little, little projects. I know my, my dad had a workbench, uh, growing up, like in the basement. Right. And he had all the, all the tools and everything, power drill and little, uh, a uh, little anvil kind of a clamp thing, um, screw tight anvil to like hold stuff in place. You know, and when I was a little kid, we were making like pine wood derby cars and all that kind of stuff. It was it was all in there. Um, but you know, with supervision and all that, he would he'd kind of be like, "Yeah, let's let's try making something," and, or you know, "You try making something." And always, it it was the best idea ever. We totally loved it. You know, little little tack nails and. Uh, all that kind of stuff, but then he'd be like, "All right, well now you gotta sand it." <laughs> like, as soon as the sanding started, it was like, "I hate this." Uh, you, sanding is just—it's got to be a labor of love, right? You gotta be, be so in it, um, 
and then I'm sure it's amazing, right? And obviously, uh, you know, I've I've done enough projects as an adult to be like, yeah, you gotta you gotta sand it until uh, until it's good. Um, whether you're gonna stain or paint or anything like that, but just, you know, uh, something that's just been halved, uh, sanded, or you know, oh yeah, it's good enough. Uh, you're gonna notice uh, no matter how much stain or varnish or anything else you put over the top of it. But it, man, it tries the patience, doesn't it? And really, uh, really wears down these shovels. Uh, but this should give us plenty to get our ceiling done. The water, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of believe you, but I don't, I don't entirely believe you. I've certainly, certainly been killed by creepers in the water. Um, I, I don't think the the possible percent chance of the TNT launcher killing me is at zero, right? There's some amount of chance that it goes horribly wrong. You have a good weekend, though, Fee? I, I think it's been a couple days, right? Did you have a good weekend? Anything exciting? In the week on? I got to hang out with some friends. That was awesome. I got to eat some good food. I watched some basketball. All pretty nice. All in all, pretty good weekend. It was beautiful on Friday and Saturday. Uh, kind of overcast. Nicer again today, although it's dark out now. Um, and then tomorrow, it's supposed to snow a whole bunch. So, uh, Or maybe more Wednesday, it's really supposed to snow. Tuesday night into Wednesday, we're going to get a bunch of snow. Uh, so tomorrow, i gotta go. got to go get food and all that. Get all the errands and stuff done while the roads are still nice. Uh, then I can hang out with you guys and uh, ignore the weather for a while. All right. Oh, well, we got our sand. I know we got a treasure map. We'll we'll go deal with that. But uh, let's go get our security um, work in here. And we got to, I really want to figure out how did I get so off on the landscape? Right? I remember that sand pillar thing. We were looking at that for a long time. But maybe, maybe we did come further along the coast when we were out looking for the, is this a, no, it's just dirt. Thought that was a ship too. Um, yeah, I thought one of these had the big, like, kind of headland of sand and gravel, and I was like, "Oh, that's perfect." You know, if we if we want to make concrete and all that, that's what inspired the whole. Like, yeah, let's make us a, a modern kind of city build uh, as we go here. But maybe I was turned around and it was that one. Was I facing back towards base or towards spawn when I discovered all this? Because I it was it was massive like that. But maybe I'd already gone and come back. The one I was looking at had like a bunch of gravel and everything too. Let's just go peek. Um. Yeah, because is this, we had been coming across on here, and maybe I just popped up to here and was like, oh, this would be cool. Uh, but there was just so much of the sand. I was like, we can't build here. Uh, so now we're tucked back in that corner, which is perfect. Uh, but I love, so yeah, we could have just started working on this <laughs> right, right away. I was just thinking it was at the opposite end of the little island section. And I thought there was more gravel. I think I guess coming up that hill on the stony shore bit. So that there's our neighbors with their big tree. And then we're we're tucked back in here. Snug as a bug. In a rug. You just need protection. Yeah. I don't have enough of that. Look at me. I'm all in iron. Unenchanted regular old iron. Well, we can make a diamond sword now, I think. Did we get two? No, we only got one. Never mind. 
I guess we can make a diamond shovel. See, I think that'll look awesome when that's uh, when that's edged out, and then probably we we look to build this up. Why again? Some weird and wacky stuff going on. Well. does kill you you just need production a uh, protection yeah that's what i'm worried about like sometimes the protection isn't quite there right all right extra stone that's handy um but we're gonna kind of you know build build this up so that'll hang i don't think we need a middle one there and then I think here, if we're just on our our threes, we're good. Now that that sticks back a little bit more, I'm kind of okay with that. Um, we're just we're really gonna have to figure out what we do about this flooded out cave and everything else we've got going on back here. And do I do another tunnel like we did here? Um, I don't know. So I guess it once this gets opened out, this won't feel as lopsided. And then we'll have these chests shift into here. Uh, when we get ready. So that, at least from the outside, that, uh, that secures our threat on that corner, unless they're smart enough to climb a hill. What else can we be doing? Uh, we can replace sand into here. We can put some of these boat blocks away in the sticks. Ooh, we can store all our loot. Now, our loot is kind of like right by the front door. That seems a little careless. So we just want those there. Back. Welcome back. How you doing? Glad you're back. Uh, that's all good. That's good. Oh, oh cook faster. All right. Now at least things have to climb up and drop down to get us. Oh, and I do have... Two more, so I think, I think we're gonna do that. I will fill these in. <laughs> this has got to be so tedious. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not trying to troll you. Uh, let's go here. Uh, that does nothing overnight for us from up there. And we'll still have to climb the hill outside to get get up on the beam and, and place in the, the actual ceiling. But this front part, I think we can kind of fill in. Uh, multiple furnaces wouldn't be a terrible idea, but we don't have that much coal. You know what I can do? Uh, we got to move it anyway. So let's put our future furnace into future furnace spot and then here's where we here's where we start to dip into torch reserves 
but now we can now we can double our efficiency. Uh, we can also take this guy. over here <laughs> nine of them all right we should be able to finish out this side so that was here there and then these two, right? So we got nice corner views. We got the door windows here in case anything's waiting to lurk for us. Um, as far as security goes, that's about as good as we can do. Let's get all we can. Eight. I don't know how high a ledge they will intentionally jump from, but they're going to take some damage now if they want to get me. I uh, got a little mail slot there. We got to fix eventually, but now we need we need these to cook now because we're going to come uh, walk up our suspended ceiling all the way uh, all the way across. So that's going to be all glass and. Um, Yeah, I guess the the lower level stuff here we should get. Oh, I feel safer already though. I'll tell you that much. All right. Take a look at how it's shaping up. Yeah, kind of modern. Like I said, the materials may change as we get more access to stuff, but um, I like that it's not a a log house or just a straight up dug a hole ground. Uh, we'll keep working on it. Um, and again, we're thinking like you know apartment buildings and skyscrapers eventually but kind of building up a, a, a small spreading city uh, but building it up modern uh, as opposed to like medieval castle-y that kind of stuff like we'd see around our stuff so you know there could be single family homes and all that kind of stuff and they can all uh, represent older stuff but uh, no no stone cobblestone uh, roads or that kind of stuff Oh, that coffee's still awesome. Uh, how much should we have? Not enough. Um, 24. If we get three more, we could do three, three passes. Two? Yeah. Oh, come on. Who's quicker? A boy furnace. All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pets of all ages, please keep your hands firmly planted inside the ride at all times while we hang a glass ceiling. Glass ceilings. They rightly. Oh. When taken as non-literal, are rightly condemned. But I think I think as a result, real glass ceilings get a uh, a bad rap, right? Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> now, now we're really, really behind, though. Uh, 11, what else can we do to kill time? Uh, we can drop off, I don't think we're going to need more glass, so we can drop off the rest of the sand and the seeds. Um, until we do more of those, we'll leave them here as kind of a building supply. 
uh, along with the glass once we get done with it. Uh, we don't want to forget our treasure map. And we really need to start moving, but... I think we'll we'll get there. Um maybe fee, maybe if he can uh, uh if he don't mind check and, and see how I'm going. I've been going a long time though. It's uh cuz we broke uh, there we had a technical issue broke a stream, so I did 2 hours before this one, so I'm really at like five and a half hours. Uh but I'm liking this new world and I don't want to stop yet. So maybe. <laughs> it's a very strong maybe. How about that? All right, well, I think we can uh, at least hazard sleeping out under the stars in our little little space. Oh, come on. This mod called First Person is good. Cool. Glad you're getting the good ones. All right, there we go. Come on, just six more pieces. We got this. I should have gone out through the house, but I think we can climb our way back up. As long as we don't fall back off. Yeah. we can now be safe indoors. So happy. Now, the couple things that we do need to do, a um, little bit of landscaping here. I just don't want a big old dirt cliff. Ow, missed the water. Uh, hanging out uh, on our, our roof line. I kind of like the idea of it being uh, tucked in, though. tools uh zip 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 did it did and picks look decent for now well, it was kind of easy getting up here so i think we're gonna go Here, and could have done with some dirt because I got lots of it inside. Kind of like that, and then trying to soften this up a bit at least for now like we uh, we don't know how this is all going to take shape eventually but I don't know is it is it better to leave that weighted with an extra thing and clean cleaner anyway like this whole cave thing kind of kind of messes with us a little bit doesn't it i mean we didn't we didn't have a built-in extra wide wall there so either i got to i got to kind of just top this off all the way and we talked about maybe digging this back to the edge of the glass here, but I just didn't. Maybe that's the way to do it, though, is right here. Instead of doing anything funky on the other side, where did I leave that stone here? We just pillar these up like that extra side, and then it'll look nice and nice and bad. Let's try it. Was that all the way up the glass? 
And I think I'm going to go one... One more. And then... We got this here, but I think there on the point, I'm going to leave it. And then here, uh, here's another question, right? Because we want to do something with this face, too, where the, where the entry comes in. I, I kind of want to dress up that portal a little bit. Like it's intentionally cut in. But see how we kind of have a continuation of our building there. I don't know. I don't know what that ends up looking like. Like I thought maybe some inverted stairs around the outside or something. Um, but you can't step those on these sides. Vertical half slabs would be awesome. Uh, it makes it, if you look down in first person, you see yourself like, oh yeah. So like, if you look down, you see your feet and all that. That's kind of cool. Occupy the, the block you're standing in kind of deal. Yeah. That, that sounds kind of cool. All right. Um, I think we got it. I think that needs to stay. That needs to stay. We cooked up all this glass. Um, so we'll have that ready. I think I think we're good to go treasure hunting. I don't want to move all the boxes, but not yet. Oh, it's so good to have a home. A home, chat. Got it. Just checking. Uh, all our animals and, and friends and all that should be plenty accessible. Uh, we, we definitely have cows and chickens up at the village. Could bring those down if there weren't any closer. Um, the farming, as I said, we may do a bit of gardening, but we're not going to do the big farms here with the bees and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to make those remote and... Um, like we used the portal in the last one, where we just go through the house and portal over there. We'll do that same thing, uh, but we're going to put it far enough away so those portals shouldn't uh, shouldn't crush each other, right? Um, we should take a look at this map, because what, uh, uh, what if it takes us right over the top? All right, so we're still heading east, I think. Yeah, I don't know why this world I haven't haven't gotten a good grasp of direction. I think it's gonna be over on the other side, closer to the ship, right? We gotta go out around that sandbar and the ship and everything. But uh yeah, we'll see. Is it a sand I, I don't know if this really counts as a sandbar. This is more of a sand bank. How did that sand get so high? All right, nothing yet.
Yeah, and this is kind of new exploration stuff. We'd just seen this boat. Uh, we had not come far enough around to even get to it or check it out. So keep, uh, keep our eyes open for more goodies. Uh, a berry patch would be nice. We could maybe spot some of them along the way here. All right. Well, hey, here we are. It's going to be kind of a watery map, this one. Uh, that's west, so north, just not out far enough, there we go, there, the fun thing about mods is some are helpful, some are just cheating looking at yeah, x-ray yeah uh, some are super op um some are the opposite um some make the combat super duper crazy and make you know what i do what i play here in hardcore just look like laughable right and you basically make a, a dungeon crawler out of the minecraft game so yeah there's Tons of stuff you can do with the mods. Eh. Modified combat, right? Um. Nice. Eight more emeralds. I love that. The iron is great. We already made our sword, of course. No extra... No extra thing. Diamond. So we can't make more stuff out of diamonds, unfortunately, yet. But we will. Oh, there's our berry. Hello, berry. How are you doing? Are you berry well? Uh, berry? Got him. Three of them. And off we go into the wild blue wander, water, wander. We'll wander in the water. Oh, come on. <laughs> so much of this map, just empty, empty water. Got it. All right. So next mission, since we've you know kind of been out here, is oh look that we're all good. Let's uh let's just go peek. Uh, I'm too tempted. Um, see what lies on distant shores. Man, oh man, I, I could so do without the piano Minecraft. It's the one that's so noticeable. You know, the other ones sneak up on you. Like, you really don't notice until after they've played that, like, oh yeah, we were getting Minecraft music. It was awesome. Uh, this is the only one I'm like, ah, oh, okay. Going again, huh? All right. Nothing, uh... Nothing too immediately eye-popping. I mean, it's beautiful. Lots of woods. We got open water, which is all we could ask for. Is this a portal or a ship? Or what are we looking at here? Ship. Um, this seems challenging. Where were you when I needed more sand? Uh, it is a legitimate ship, though. Sometimes they're they're just, you know, like an outline, and the sand has replaced everything. But this has the trapdoors and all. Ugh. 
if it's trapdoors only to be uh yeah all right what do we get nice i saw some moss i saw some carrots i saw a bunch of wheat Oh, no. Of course, I didn't get the chest yet. Give me the chest. Kit. <laughs> The chest. Uh, right. Um, hmm. Kind of need everything. We don't need that, really. Uh, we may find more hay bales. If we did, maybe we would get more lumber. Um... Man, everything else I kind of want. It. Oh, we don't need poison potatoes. There we go. All right. Now, this does not seem like the boat kept going. I think we got a front of a boat and nothing more. We'll do just an cursory cursory test hole just to see yeah I I think that boat ended oh then again I could be wrong Oh, I was hoping I could get air out of that. Um, oh, I didn't get air there. Wait to breathe. Yeah, again, I... I kind of feel like we could maybe get around. Full air. Oh, I think that's spreading. Damn it. And the sand is going to be a problem. We could, like, you know, try to burrow down and make an air pocket, but... Um... I don't... I don't see how we're going to get that accomplished. I also don't really know <laughs> where these chests should be. I mean, there there would be another mast, right? And then we'd come back on the, the stern. And spinning the tools stinks. All right, let's go. Drop a couple of these things. Oh, damn it. Why would you do that? That to me. Game? All right. We're down. Oh, there's the chest. That might actually backfire on us, but we're close enough now that maybe we can just, just get it done. I don't know. 
Uh, first thing, if there's... This better be the best treasure we've ever seen. Oh, man. I, I don't know how half staffs, half stacks can ever do a thing like that. So, we found the lower of the chests. And that would make... What was it? Can I get this lucky? I think we're due a little bit. Nope. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is... Maybe this is close. Close enough to see it, at least. Can we see a chest? Oh, it's maybe back, too. Like here. <sighs> um, this mod is useful time in a bottle. It tells you how old the world is, and if you sneak right-click on most blocks, it speeds it up. Uh, like you move faster while you're crouched? seems okay to me on the surface. It also feels a little bit like it could be... Those are definitely different. That's good. Um, like, I, I don't know. I, I think there is something to be said for um, having a penalty to be secure. Like, you know, if I'm hanging on the edge of a construction, right, and I'm sitting out here and I'm crouched, I don't think I should then be able to sprint as I'm going. That Seems a little bit too much. Anybody remember how how close these should have been? Like, why is there a fence there? Uh, maybe we're not out far enough. And maybe... Oh, yeah, this is looking better. I didn't really look at that block, but... Oh, damn it. All right, sand. Shut up. Did they seriously break this right at the loot chest? This is what I was talking about with some of them are... Um, uh, some of them are not full boat. Oh, thank God. All right. Uh, we even have some air down there, but... Uh, we don't have any inventory space, do we? All right, you go, you go. Uh, stone hoe. <laughs> We're not going further. To, we're still full of stuff. We're not going back for more. Um, I think we can probably live without an axe as well. Nope, not there. Here. And then, oh, look at us. Oh. No diamonds, sadly. But we'll take all that. And that, and that, and that, and that. And we have a... Oh, this is going to be... One. All right. Back up we go. 
And like I said, I think I should maybe take the sandstone. It's just compressed. <laughs> you know, like why why wouldn't we want that? Uh, and then I guess we'll take back the tool over a full stack of sand. I mean, we've got got a bunch already. I think that's that's pretty decent. Um, no, if you sneak right click on a furnace, oh, okay, any of the machine blocks. Um, I got it. Uh, I don't know that. That almost seems seems a little a little worse in my mind. I mean, they they gave us uh, we had jump boost, doing doing, <laughs> Wee! boing boing boing. Oh, all right, it's over. Uh, but hey, we we had some suspicious too. It's great, uh, and. It's cooked salmon. We might as well carry that around and eat it. All right. Back to the boat and back to home if we can find it. Oh, we got this map too now. Oh, we're right on the edge of it. Crap. I think we'll have to... Have to come back. I see how we can do much more than that. Pick a point. Hope for the best here. Dude, no trident drowned, please. This is about how it ended the last time. For uh, Octotarsis. Well, that was a good, quick little world. And again, I, I think you need the limit. Like... It, you're yeah you can you know you can have like infinite storage or you know big backpacks or whatever but the way i i don't know i i'm sure i've you've heard me talk about it too fee but a lot of the way i look at it a lot of the way people you know people who say oh yeah there's just nothing in minecraft i, I get to it too quick yeah you got, you know it, it's kind of stupid for hardcore honestly i should not be lingering i should be rushing to uh to the end fight to get wings to get diamonds and all that and we haven't even we haven't even made a staircase down to deep slate to even begin to find our own diamonds um but that early game when you have to boat around when you have to do this stuff when villages are still worth going to because you don't have all that stuff yet I love that you have to kind of make a decision. Like, what do I actually want? What do I what do I need to carry with me? Uh, but I, I do get it. I uh, you know, one hundred percent get extra inventory and all that. It's it, for me, and it's always personal, right? This is just nobody's right, wrong, anything like that. But like the flip side, right? Uh, here in Minecraft, I you know, it, and I know they never came out with the the sacks or the whatever it was going to be that they were going to have as as kind of early game extra storage. Um, yet I, I think they're still working on them and I hope they balance it. Um, but, and I'm kind of like, yeah, you don't, you don't need it. You've got enough, throw a chest on the ground. If you want to go back and pick stuff up and keep adventuring, that's cool. Um, but the flip side is Skyrim, right? Uh, I don't know if you've ever played Skyrim or any of the Elder Scrolls games, but that I, I've often joked, that's not a combat or fantasy adventure game or RPG it's an inventory management game, right? You've got to figure out ways that you can overcome your lack of weight and the punishing uh, punishing speed effect on, and not to mention combat and all that, if you go overburdened, right? It, it's just unplay. You know, you're like trudging along walking. And in that way, it's kind of good, right? I like a big penalty for that. But they recently came out with like a survival hardcore mode uh, anniversary edition for Skyrim where you have to eat food. You can only save when you're asleep in a bed. Like, you know, you can't just quick save as you're going into a dungeon and go like, all right, we're all good. You gotta, you know, you've got to find a place to sleep around there or set up a means to go. And I won't play that 
because I think the inventory stuff would be so tedious that I think I would hate it. And I'd love the food and all that kind of stuff. So I, different game, different deal. I just, I love the early part of Minecraft. And I don't want to let it go. Look at it. It's kind of shaped like a heart. Oh, that cave. That's where we're headed next, I think. Uh, we're going to unload all this gear. Um, all that extra iron is going to be so good for us. Now we pretty much can just, I think, get going with our iron uh, for this cave run. I don't want to stand it on the boat. Um... So we've got 30, and we've got 25 more. That's a pretty good start for this this point in the game. we got an extra iron sword. I don't think we need that. Uh, let's pull you. You, 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 you. Uh, this is the finished one, the TNT. Then over to here. Food, 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 food food treasury stuff sand more sand some sandstone a little bit of iron we could make one more ingot and then let's put our loot away there All right, so this is the treasure map. We have not yet. You know, we just clipped the corner of it. Now we're a long, long way away. Uh, treasure or mining? Anybody uh, Anybody care to speak up? Like I said, I've been going a super long time in this game. I'm going to very carefully try to uh, mute and then unmute my mic when I come back. Uh, but i got to step away for just a bit. Uh, so I'll be right back with you guys.
Boy, chat. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't think there was any crazy loud noises, but I, I see that it wasn't muted. So, hey, we're back. Now, what we got is nighttime. Fortunately, nighttime without any monsters banging on the doors. All right. So, as I said, um, we've been going a long time. I uh, definitely uh, think we could wrap this up, but we're going to go take the one last long boat trip. Um, go get the treasures if we can. And uh, come on back home. Oh, too soon. Still learning it, chat. Uh, but this is going to be big and beautiful, and we're we're definitely going to need to be heavily portal invested. Um, just on the way it's spreading out, the way that the the farms are going to be well removed from our base city area to the uh, spawn being way back and having a village there, uh, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is. This is a trek in a boat. Going back to what uh, what he said, sure it would be nice to not have to make the back and forth, but eh, it'll be cool. And maybe this map will look cooler when we're done. Just big blue water with a little bit of land on the edge. Not nah, we need decorations desperately in our stone room, but uh, I don't know that just a map of water is what we're looking for. Man, I hadn't even noticed that little uh, sunken structure down there. Saw that dirt hill a couple times and always thought it was a boat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're like halfway there. Yay! Hooray! I'm making a happy song for you guys Cause we got nothing better to do on this boat ride It is so fun Paddling across an ocean Doesn't take much time at all I'm kidding, it takes forever, but that's okay, because chatters like Fee have the launchers for the Elytra. Da, da, da. <laughs> you guys like my song? Isn't it awesome? Yeah. Oh, man, <laughs> we're almost out there. Remember, we thought that might just be the tip of a broken portal. Never had a thought that it was going to be a ship that I was going to have to dig out and now uh, pass to get to uh, this map. And I guess we should uh, we should cut here. Maybe. Where, oh, is it going to end up on that coast? All right, that's fine. Yeah, because it's got to be out beyond the ship. That's cool. Oh, we get to see a little bit more land. Uh, I certainly wouldn't want mind one more village, right? Hey, turtle. How you doing? All right, now we are cooking. What's that all about? I'll have to go check that out. Was that 
bone or sand, just weird sand or clay or what the heck was that? close reach out reach out and touch the corner there we go and then we're not going oh look it's got bees around it it's got to be a good treasure well wow. uh, back over Seems good. The fact that it's not underwater is pretty awesome. Um, Can't get them all. <laughs> okay. It was there. No diamonds. My gosh. I mean, 20 more iron. Very nice. Leather shirt, not as nice. I already have had a couple of those. Uh, two water breathing potions. That's actually pretty decent. All right. Uh, two. To the undiscovered bit of map. More bees. Lots of bees. Hi, bee. How you doing, buddy? You good? Again, chat. In case you missed it, uh, the bee antibiotics or uh, vaccine or whatever. That's fantastic. I'm so excited. I hope it. I hope it pans out. Right. I hope uh, as the farmers start to use that or whatever, it, they're like, "Yep, this uh, this is totally protecting our bees." Uh, we haven't had any more loss. Be great. Uh, just a little bit. All right. Back along the sort of coast. Oh my gosh. Do 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 Okay, got our boat. I think I think we're going right up here. Don't know what it is. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> oh. You might have chosen wisely. You just got to watch out for holes. Saw that little bit of cave and was like, you know, we're over here. Okay, okay, okay. I hear you. I don't want trouble. Except for the con for you. Oh, boy. Let's get that torch out. Very, very nice. You remember how I said that we were going to be dependent on portals a lot in this world, right? Uh, well, this is uh, going to be one of those destinations. Pop. Pop. Holy smokes. We haven't seen a... a 
dungeon spawner in ages, and the ones that we have had have seen have all been super duper low. Uh, but this we can make into a farm. Yeah. Take those. That, that. Um, that. Pumpkin seeds? I don't know that we've gathered any yet, so we'll take those. A uh, little bone mealing doesn't hurt if we're going to be a gardener. And I don't know. I mean, should we... Should we just call this as super awesome? Good luck and <laughs> call it good. Uh, first thing, before we do anything, uh, let's grab... Outdoor morning coffee. We have a zombie spawner. And it is at 1853, 70, negative 2349. Awesome and fantastic. So I don't know. I, the biggest problem is uh, we don't have... Um, a whole lot of reason to be AFK. So kind of like the creeper, uh, gunpowder farm, right? It's kind of just, Hey, we're all chatting around standing at a farm. Um, and hope the chat is lively that day. Right. Uh, but otherwise it, probably doesn't get a ton of use before I do that. But we can still definitely make the farm, right? And see any iron. We've got this other coal back here. Let's get it. Now that I hope this is safe. And uh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, we do I don't think we're going to go diving into this massive cave yet because my inventory, right? I grabbed all this extra stuff and now we got coal. So we're, we're good and full. This was a wonderful little trip and having those coordinates where we know, um, We know we've got all that to play with. Look, there's some iron. That's going to get us down to deep slate. There's some lava all the way down there. Looks awesome. Can't wait. Uh, but we're not doing that today. <laughs> not RL today. And certainly not Minecraft today. Because it's going to be uh, night before we get home, I'm sure. Uh, so, yeah. That was really good. And we did get this map all the way done, right? It, and it is much more decorative and awesome. Big fan. Go back out here past the boat. Now we now I got to come up with a new song while we uh, while we cruise back. The zombie spawner dungeon song something. Who's got lyrics for that for me? Oh, well this, uh, I mean, roller coaster of emotions today. Our, our world emergent heartache, uh, which proved very, uh, very well named. Man, it was, it was awesome. Uh, we built a little boathouse. Uh, I definitely recommend you checking out that stream. It's going to be the only other episode of emergent heartache, right? And uh, you can check it out. It, it was a real deal. But we were at the highest of highs right before it happened. I was uh, had a village with a uh, Mesa gold mine right up to the edge of it. We had an iron golem buddy that was taking care of our, our danger for us. We had just pulled a bunch of diamonds, an enchanted golden apple, a chunch, awesome, awesome minecart chest loot, uh, by and large. It was really good. I had all this stuff, was loaded into the boat, the, the setting... Uh, was some of my favorite biomes. Just 
everywhere you looked, there were mesas with the cool canyons and all that. Uh, lots and lots of desert and jungle and woods. It was just total variety, and it was great. Uh, we had mahogany for so I already had a chest with a boat in it. We had a dog friend. Um, super good, but uh, then, then the game got weird. So I was in the mine, uh, and there was gold in the wall. Um, and I, I broke it and there was gravel and I, I should have known that, but as the gravel fell on the block that it was, I hadn't looked above me and another piece of gravel was, you know, kind of spilled out over the ceiling, right? Dropped on my head. The weird part was the game told me that I suffocated because I was in a wall and there was nothing. I couldn't break any blocks uh, while I was there suffocating, it was it was awful. Uh, so I don't know why I exactly why I died. I, again, I, I no issues with uh, Mojang or, or Minecraft or anything like that. I don't, I don't think it was buggy. I think if anything, I um, I was stuck like against a rail. Cause we talked about it with the the skellies and the creepers that you know they get stuck with the little mine tracks. And the fence posts and everything, and they sometimes can't get around. And I'm wondering if that kept me from being able to uh, break the blocks effectively or anything like that. But the the move there should be to break with the torch, just like I've been doing uh, with some of the sand and all that. You can break that block and, and throw the torch at your feet. It will then clear all the remaining gravel or sand or whatever is suffocating you. But it was like it pushed me into the wall and I couldn't it was like I was punching rock instead of gravel uh, feel free to I haven't loaded it yet but feel free to check out the YouTube see if you guys uh, know anything but I don't think I've ever seen um, the end title that the player suffocated because they were in a wall that was weird look at that weird lighting effect on that sugar cane too that was weird uh, we're far out from there, and again, we thought we were going to go into that mine, uh, or that cave, but, uh, wow, did we find a good one. It's a long, long, long way away, though. Yikes. E, welcome back. Uh, hope, uh, if that was like a dinner or something like that, hope you're, hope you're doing good. Hope it was tasty. I'm, I'm getting close. Uh, let's go check our loots here. And, uh... think about calling it good look at all this stuff uh and this is where probably what we need to do before we finish is get the chests and everything squared away in our, our real room so let's let's just make extra I, I don't think we're gonna be too short of logs or anything we'll still need to go harvest more trees at some point but when don't we have to do that all right Standard chest configuration activation. And then well, I guess we can start here. So this is the, the random stuff. And it's kind of backwards, right? Because a lot of times we do this facing the door. Uh, but I think we'll probably be in and out more on the boat. So this is uh, mob loot and random, right? And for the moment, that's potions, not string, but gunpowder, TNT, Prismarine. I think the name tags are going to hang out. But then here we got food, which is seeds and cod. This is going to be the, the main chest here. All the stuff fit. Yeah, we're good. All good. No, yes, 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 yes. Right? String. Coal. This guy's got to move because it's in the worst spot. This stuff can all come back now, and then maybe we make this the animal chest, right? Which will just have all the kind of back to back. That's nice. Paper, books, flowers. Those are both special flowers. Uh, those were both villagers. 
or villages that I found. Uh, gold, sand. Uh, not ready to move that yet. Let's move the lumber. That one. That one takes like mental and emotional preparation. So much stuff. I uh, can't put all this iron away. I don't know why that left off. All right. Just do it. It's gonna be a mess. Leads. I'm gonna do all this stuff. Clean that up in a second. Uh, clothes will be another weird one. All this stuff should go. Oh, oh, can't go yet. Blocks, sticks, more blocks, more sticks. <sighs> Building y stuff. String arrows. Torches. Look at all that iron. Oh, it's so good. More coal. Sticks, of course. And yet more sticks. Alright. Um, I think at this point we start trading out gear for gear. Right? Bop and bop. And there. And then we got two buried treasure maps. So now I definitely want to move this. So I don't stop tripping over it in the middle of the night, right? Get up to go to the bathroom, stub your toe. All right, so we got animals there. And then maybe we'll do maps and decorations. And then I think I think I want to redo all of this stuff. I like having the chests, but I think we're going to go here and then we'll actually put more furnaces like we'll have this one for our everyday just quick cook stuff and then we'll start our banks of furnaces like we had over by the farm uh, there so we can actually make our two there and then here We'll start the old outfit assembly and we'll put spare enchanted -y type stuff, right? This can live uh, here with our regular tools, uh, especially early on. We'll probably be rotating that through. Uh, we got a full stack of coal and I don't need to fuel those unless I'm working on a project. Man, it is beautiful. We can look up at the starry sky and not have to worry. This is amazing, guys. Uh, I, I joked about it the last time. I think we finally got a world um, that we can build into and grow into. And I'm pretty excited about that. I, I won't say this is like the masterwork house, but uh, it's coming. And I think maybe just a little bit of light up here would... Uh, obviously, we don't need it for the mobs, but from the distance outside, that might light up the glass a little bit without seeing torches, right? All right. I think I think that's going to probably do it, guys. Uh, I've got about four hours and 40 minutes in this, plus another two-hour stream right on the front end of it. So we're getting up close to seven hours. That's plenty. Uh, but I did want to make sure that this world, since we were starting a new one, got a full good start. And if nothing else, I think we gave it that. We're 
we're safe. We've got a bunch of good stuff from the villages and the caves and everything. Um, pretty well set to to run rampant over this sucker. Uh, but coming up, uh, caving in that kind of heart-shaped shaped cave uh, will probably come next. And then we figure out how to deal with this. Because what I'd like to do is have this go into kind of a great hall room that goes back into the into the hills but we've got a flooded out cave there's going to be some work going into it and that's why i think we need to go get more coal um really be set to run with iron tools before we uh start that particular project but once we have that big room um which i think will will be able to build up into Again, I don't, I don't know. Maybe it just has like a, a brownstony face or something like that. But we're gonna have to find access to modern-looking building materials. So we can use the sandstone, right? We can use um, uh, clay into clay bricks would be good. Um, again, I'd love to use more of that red netherite stuff that we were planning on using and never got a chance to. That would be beautiful. Prismarine and all that uh, to make some modern-looking uh, buildings, but that might be the next logical thing is to build, step this out and build a, a different-looking, like these buildings are just kind of up against each other, uh, but a different style facing out that way, and then it will just go back into the into the hillside as well. That maybe is how we come to deal with it but again caving adventures all that kind of stuff next can't wait to to join you but tomorrow uh appointment viewing uh, <laughs> i'm kidding uh it'll be sometime late again maybe noon mountain so 2 p.m or later uh eastern time depends how early i get up i gotta go Got to go run all the errands and stuff because uh, we're supposed to get two days of snow, junky roads and all that kind of stuff. And then depending, I mean, it may be nothing or we may get multiple inches of snow, at which point, you know, the roads and all that are trash for a little bit. And here in Colorado, it's easier to just wait until the sun comes out. Then uh, if, if you got places you got to be, you got to be there, right? Uh, there's a basketball game on Thursday night. We'll probably go do that. But uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, it's looking good. Can't wait to see you guys back tomorrow. More garden story. We try to figure all that out, get uh, get flex, and then uh, on with the rest of the week and all the goodies. So see you guys. Stay awesome. Let's, uh, let's save and quit before there's any disasters. And uh, I can't wait to see you guys again. Thanks. Uh, big shout out. We had Israel is cool. We had Skash. Uh, and Fee all were, uh, Fiuk were all hanging out. Uh, if I'm missing you, if you said hello, thank you. Uh, it's been a long, long, multiple hours. So stay awesome, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.